gonna assume it's because of the hot Texas sun and this is just sitting in my truck, but um, I mean, this is a brand new case and like, this is basically coming apart. So I'm assuming the glue is melting off of that and there being a decent amount of weight here. It's not a ton of weight, but yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to figure something out. I don't know how much I really like that, especially cause this is marketed as like a really rugged case and everything. Relatively easy gig. This was supposed to be for two days. Uh, they ended up just doing it for one day, um, kind of at the last minute and stuff. So kind of sucks, cut my pay in half, but it is what it is. I always thought no matter what shoot I had, I was just gonna use the best camera I had. So once I bought the FX6, I was like, oh, I'm never gonna use the A7S III again. I'm just finding that not to be true. And honestly, it just makes sense. I used to always wonder why like other filmmakers would have like a red or an FX6 or something like crazy like that. And then they'd be off using like a Canon R6 or something. I'm just starting to realize like different tools for different situations. And for me, when I'm shooting documentaries or big events, like the FX6 will 100% be my go-to. But for stuff like this, when I'm shooting, you know, hour long pol water polo games and it's just a highlight for somebody, like what's the point of pulling out the FX6? So that's why today's setup is just the Tamron 35 to 150. I've got the small rig battery to keep the battery life going and that's it. There's nothing special. I have a plate. This small rig free blazer tripod is one of the best purchases I've made in a while. It's so quick and easy and light and it's a lot like the Sackler system where it just has the one latch to pull the legs out so I can go to full height on just one latch. I'm not bending down awkwardly. It also works seamlessly with the DJI uh, RS2 plate, so you, you can go straight from the gimbal to the tripod with no issue. It has the drop-in and slide-in functionality, and it's just one button quick release. So this thing is a really good system when you're running and gunning. It also just feels super sturdy. I don't feel like this is gonna fall over at any point. I don't feel like my camera is not gonna be supported by the weight. I definitely think for an under $300 tripod, this thing is phenomenal. I'm also really loving this new Tamron lens I picked up. It's proving itself to be extremely versatile in a lot of scenarios. And paired with the smoothness of this tripod, I was able to get some very clean shots and it made it super easy to quickly follow the ball. I could be zoomed in all the way to 150 and it would just still feel smooth. Here you could see, I'm just kind of doing uh, some ball follow motions. And I mean, you can just see how smooth it is. It just, it just works in this scenario. So. I am loving this lens. I think it is one of the best purchases I've added to my kit and I couldn't be happier with, with it. All in all, this is a very simple shoot. I just have to drop off the footage. They're gonna do the editing and I was able to charge a half day rate for essentially about four or five hours worth of work. So it's always fun to get to do shoots like this because it does kind of challenge me a little bit. I've never done anything like this. And although it being a simple shoot, um, it was something new to me and Anytime I'm shooting something new, it always comes with its own level of anxiety and stress coming into it. Which leads me to the biggest thing I learned during this shoot, and that was to be prepared. I had just come off PAing for the past three days, drove to Houston, did all that. And so when I got home, I was lazy. I didn't uh, check the settings on my camera. I didn't check the batteries, make sure everything was charged. And I ended up showing up to the shoot not only late, but completely unprepared. After getting there, I realized I only had one fully charged battery and I needed to film two one hour games. So obviously that battery wasn't going to last. I had my small rig battery, but realized I left my cable case at home, leaving me with no USB-C. So after a bunch of running around trying to make this thing happen, I managed to find a USB-C cable that had fallen into my case, which allowed me to power the camera through the shoot. But because I was late and unprepared, when I got there, they were already warming up and I was scrambling to make it inside, just barely getting in there before the game started. And this had my client texting me, asking me to hurry up because she was afraid I was going to miss it. And I never want to put my client in a situation where they feel like I'm not going to do my job. They should just be able to sit back, relax, and know that I'm gonna deliver a quality product. So this was a huge learning lesson for me. Thankfully, I recovered the shoot, and she was very, very cool with it at the end and very happy with the product I delivered. So I ran up to Home Depot and just got this Gorilla adhesive. Uh, it says it resists heat. This is like the strongest one they had apparently, so I'm gonna try and see if this will hold that, uh, that case up. 
Yeah, it's like straight up just not even holding anymore at all. Besides that little mishap of that thing coming off, which this thing is on there now, um, I gotta say, I love this case. It's so nice and easy to organize. So, yeah, this thing is great.